Here's how to solve the fizzbuzz problem using Python. The fizzbuzz problem states that given an integer n, we would like to return a string array answer, one indexed, where if the number is divisible by three and five, return fizzbuzz. If it is divisible by three, return fizz. If it is divisible by five, return buzz. And if it is not divisible by either of these things, simply return the number as a string. And as you can see in our examples, right, one, two, three, three being divisible by three, we place fizz here. And I'll let you guys go ahead and take a look at the other two examples right here. So if if we go over to our solution side of our screen, we begin by initializing an array, which will be our answer, which we would like to return. And let's go ahead and break down this logic here. So what we are doing is because we are given that we would like to have this array one index, we are going to start from the number one and proceed to n plus one. Recall in Python for the range function, the rightmost bound is exclusive. And then we perform some modular arithmetic here. So if the number is divisible by 15, then the number mod 15 would have a remainder of zero and the modulus operator in Python is represented by the percent symbol and so as a result we would append fizzbuzz. Similarly, we perform the exact same logic for numbers divisible by five only and three only. However, if it is divisible by none of these things, we will simply append the number from this range as a string. And thus, we use the string type casting function. And ultimately, we return our answer at the end. And so if we go ahead and submit this problem, you'll notice that indeed we get a successful solution. 